Are you okay? What? Don't look at me like that. Just thought I'd say thanks. Um... Cut the crap. You know, at the Coliseum. I'm usually against thanking people for doing things I didn't ask for. But I figured I owed it to you two. Anyway, take it or leave it. Doesn't matter to me. I still haven't given up looking for a decent place to kick the bucket, but I guess I do feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders. You can sleep easy knowing I ain't gonna be losing control and slicing people up anymore. Don't push your luck. <sighs> Fine. I'll let it slide today. But it's not gonna be the answer you were hoping to hear. Shadowlard was the one who told me it'd be good for me if I joined the Knights. And when I found out he was looking out for me this whole time... <laughs> I ain't gonna thank him. And I sure as hell ain't gonna apologize either. But I wouldn't have minded sharing a drink with him like this. <laughs> Lisa too. Guess this is what happens to people who get too close to me. That goes for you too, Adol. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> After our duel at the arena, I think I learned a thing or two about you. And now I found a new appreciation for fighting. That super grimwalled Nox or whatever can't come soon enough. Personally, I don't have a problem with this curse sticking around. I guess wanting an excuse to fight is in my blood as a berserker. At the same time, there's only so much I can take of this city. Traveling and fighting all over the world doesn't sound so bad to me either. Then... <laughs> You're kidding, right? That's a hard pass. I'm just gonna enjoy the upcoming fight. I'll figure out the rest when it comes. Doctor's in. That one's special. That one's special. Need anything else? Take care up there. <laughs> you buying or not? <laughs> you need it? I got. <laughs> you saw nothing. Oh, state your desire. You must be au revoir. Hello there. Hello there. Let's see here. 
It doesn't seem too different from before. Is this what I think it is? So you remember, you promised that we would have a tea party after the war was over. Yes, I did promise that before I left. I can't believe you still remember. I'm sorry, Anamona. I should have been the one to invite you. This was very thoughtful of you. <laughs> yes. After I told Yufa about the idea, she prepared this lovely meal for us. During the war, she'd always find a way to make scarce rations into something delicious. You were always too busy playing outside with boys to learn how to. Uh, was it really necessary to bring that up in front of Adol of all people? <laughs> What's wrong? Yes. I am curious to know how it would be to feel the world like the both of you. Feel the world? Yes. I am only a doll. There are many things I do not understand. The warmth of the sunlight. The gentle breeze of the wind. The aroma of this tea before us. I... wish to feel it too. And to learn more about this world that you two love so dearly. Anamona... I am not used to having thoughts like this. Are they good thoughts? Or are they bad thoughts? No. But... I am only a doll. I should not be having these thoughts. Yet, I do. What then does that make me? You've grown up, Anamona. Rosvita. I think having those thoughts are what makes one human. Hmm. I wonder, could it be that the thing you were searching for wasn't me? But your own self? Hmm? Oh. I remember. When Papa's alchemy experiment failed, I lost my soul, and as punishment, I was separated from you. You've been through a lot, Anamona. You found what you lost, and you're finally with me again. Oh. Welcome home, Anamona. My best friend in the whole world. I am home, Rosvita. Thank you for bringing her home, Adol. You're the reason I was able to keep my promise to Anamona. I wish to thank you, too. It is as if there was a haze within me that has now lifted. Rosvita is right. I was really searching for my own self this whole time. You have my deepest gratitude, Adol. I hope you don't mind coming out here with me at a time like this. I wanted to talk to you about something I didn't want anyone else to hear. You mean... Y no uh, What? Well, I guess he has something to do with it. You already know I'm adopted, right? Well, 
I haven't told my siblings yet. I was planning on telling them when things weren't so chaotic, but I've been so preoccupied with work and taking care of them. I'm scared knowing that time is getting closer by the day. I'm not sure how they'll react when they find out I'm not their real sister. About that, now that we know we're homunculi, not only do I have to tell them that I'm not their real sister, but also that I'm not a real human. I don't want them to be afraid of me. Sorry, Adol. I didn't mean to unload on you like this, but I'm also too scared to tell Felix. You're the only one I can talk to. thought about it like that. Aha! Caught you cheating! Food? Hey, Adol. What are you two up to? Hope it's not something Felix would be worried about. Uh, what? You're not gonna cry, are you? I wasn't really gonna tell Felix. Hey, Ood. Let's say, hypothetically, what if I wasn't your real sister? If I wasn't related to you at all, what would you do? Huh? Wh what are you talking about? Can you just answer the question, Ood? Um, I guess I'd be pretty surprised. I see. But nothing else would really change. Huh? But, uh, hypothetically, you'd have been living with someone who was lying to you. Wouldn't you feel betrayed? Maybe not want to live with me anymore? Nope. You've been working hard to take care of us on your own in place of mom and dad. You ask me, that's what a real family's all about, blood related or not. You could be a Roman or a monstrum for all I care. You'll always be our sister, Yufa. No matter what. Food. What? Are you still hung up about not being related to us? How did. Food. How did you know? Uh. <laughs> Uh, you see, well, hypothetically, remember when you used to have a diary? Don't tell me you read it. I, I can't believe you. There are things about Felix in there. Huh? Well, it's your own fault for leaving it on the table instead of putting it away. You're the one who's always telling us to put our stuff away. By the way, Mark knows too. But Elle doesn't really seem to get it either way. You... you... Why, you little... Whoa! Hey, get back here, young man! I'm going to crush you with a really, really big hug! You know, oh, gross! Get away from me! Go do that with Felix! Hey! Yeah, you were right. Thanks again, Adol. Shall we begin our patrol at all? April is said to be careful in places related to the Hundred Years War. I'd say that means we'll find the most monsters there. Okay, let's start in those areas first. All right, let's go team. Adol. Oh. 
what's wrong. It's not that. For 500 years, I've fought with my homunculus allies, much like this. I've watched them as they grew up, and I've watched them as they died. 500 years of killing the Miris, and grieving over my fallen comrades. Over time, the weight on my heart turned it cold and callous. The pain that used to be there was replaced with emptiness. It was easier for me to think of them as puppets, and I their puppeteer. Well... But this time, it's different. Each of them have their own challenges, their own concerns, their own unique lives. Their futures shine more brightly than the darkness I chose to live in. They reminded me of what it was like to feel human. And you, Adol, were the one who made that possible for them. <laughs> <laughs> How could I forget? Would it be selfish of me to say that I no longer wish for them to fight? Will there ever come a time when they'll know peace? Yeah. Yes, you're right. We need only to focus on the obstacle before us with all we can muster. I'll be counting on you, Adol. Would you fill that bucket with water? Hail, venerated king of gods, Grimnir. The land, air, wind, and spirit of Glia. This day marks the forthcoming of our greatest tribulation. I beseech thee, bless our battle and thy land with thy protection. This is... Yes, though it is a simplified version. I perform it every year to hone my conviction and sharpen my focus. You've experienced encounters with gods in other lands, haven't you? As it so happens, I've had a similar experience myself. You mean... It happened quite a long time ago. At a time when I was still known as Rosfida, I grew up in a modest village. All the villagers were passionate devotees of the Norse religion. I led a peaceful life there, until the day I nearly died pulling a drowning child from the river. That was when I met the King of Gods. The weight of his presence was boundless. In exchange for saving my life, Grimnir imparted a mission unto me. He tasked me with expelling the forces of the god who opposed him. That god was Luki and the forces blessed by him were Bataille's army. To realize my mission, I volunteered for the Gleon army. It was there I met my companions. Hmm. Yes, but in today's world, it is known as a war between nations, not gods. After a hundred years of war, Bataille no longer had the morale to continue their losing battle. It was at this time when the gods Grimnir and Luki were both slain upon the other's blade. In the chaos, I was deceived by the king of Bratai and sentenced to death by burning. After that, the Norse religion in Glia was gradually superseded by the Hieroglyph Church. That was my life. 
My past has Rosvita. I cannot change my actions, nor do I have any desire to. My only wish now is to continue protecting the land that my companions fought for. I am beholden to them for leaving the war in their hands. first to tell me that. <laughs> My old companions would badger me to no end about it. Don't go fighting on your own. You can depend on us, you know. Hold out your hand, Adol. Grimnir gave that to me. It's an emblem of authority given to the leader of the demigods who fought the Grimwald Nox. But most of its power has faded. I want you to have it, Adol. Yeah! I know you will. It's not my intention to burden you, Adol. If something were to happen to me... Hey, there they are. What brings all of you here? Were you looking for us? Yes. We began to worry after you two had not returned. We traced your footsteps here. What have you two been doing so far away from town? <laughs> we can't take our eyes off of you for one minute, can we? <laughs> Guess the saint's more human than we thought. What are you on about? Stop it, you guys. We're just glad that you're both safe. Wow. The view of Balduk from up here is incredible. You can feel the energy from the festival even from here. I can see my fields! And look, the Colosseum! You can see that far? Trying to spot Felix? <laughs> I guess there's no stopping a cow in love. In love? That's rich coming from a violent, runaway bird brain! <laughs> can we stop wasting our time with this nonsense? Hey, what's the matter with you? Hmm? Oh. I was just reminiscing about some very dear friends of mine. Listen up, Monstrums. We're all going to pray to Grimnir to watch over us in the next battle. I know. How about we do some last-minute training? We need to be at our very best. Oh. <laughs> Alright! Hey. Whose side are you on anyway?
Yeah. Something's there. All charged up. Something's there. All charged up.
Something's there.
Yeah. It would behoove us to prepare. Hello there. How did it go? Oh, job well done. Use this well. A most 
favorable outcome. Monsters, the time is nigh. Under the red moons, the wicked and the defiant shall be punished. Ascend into this unbreaking night. Unsheathe your curse and smite the darkness. Do this, everyone!
I hope you managed to keep this up. I knew you had it, Adol! <laughs> <laughs> 